from the station that's on your side. Awarded the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Newscast Excellence. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back. The time now is 623. More and more data is coming out about aspirin, and there is more new information as it relates to your heart. Baptist Health cardiologist and our resident research guru, Dr. Scott Davis, is here with some interesting latest findings. We've talked about yeah. aspirin and its impact on the right. heart before, right. but even new research. Right. So it, new research out of UAMS, actually. And so two big studies came out last year looking at uh, over 17,000 patients in, the, in, in each study, and it really uh, caused pause to, to make us re think and relook at aspirin for primary prevention. Now, what do I mean? Secondary prevention is I have heart disease. I've had a heart attack. I've had bypass surgery. I have stents. Aspirin benefits those folks. Okay. So if you're in the club, like I say, you, you need to be on an aspirin, okay, long term, unless there's some other reason like a bleeding issue. However, it's not one size fits all when it comes to primary prevention. And two big studies were released last year that made us stop and say, wait a minute, it, it, we don't need to just be indiscriminately handing out aspirin to everybody in, in, in hopes it'll just kind of be a one size fits all. Or are we as patients just saying, I should take aspirin, That's help right. Me. And so then this most recent study that was done by the folks at UAMS and published in the Journal of American, Cardi Amer American College of Cardiology looked at over 80,000 patients in each arm in a retrospective meta-analysis and, and found that yes, there is a small benefit to reducing your risk for a non-fatal heart attack or stroke in the aspirin arm, okay. right? But it is it is balanced and it is offset by an increased higher risk of bleeding, okay? okay. And so what it means is, once again, we, we, we need to kind of tailor to the individual. Look, if you're a two-pack-a-day smoker, diabetic, not on a cholesterol medicine, and your twin brother had a heart attack, yeah, you need to rethink maybe your primary prevention risk. And so I, I know that's an extreme example, but my point is is that you do need to visit with your primary care physician about this because this this whole I'm just gonna go next time I'm at, at the grocery store I'm gonna go pick up a you know a bottle of aspirin and just start taking it that data does not support itself anymore and the bleeding concerns are something to to worry that, about that that's true and it and it's not just GI bleeding but it's also intracranial bleeding yeah. and so the, 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 here's the kicker as you get older your heart attack risk goes up your heart mm -hmm. risk your, your cardiovascular risk goes up but then so does your bleeding risk right and so the, the, then even though we do get a little bit of benefit for from the aspirin in primary prevention, the bleeding risk offsets that. Now, then you start looking at, okay, what about if you're in the, your 50s to 60s in that range where your bleeding risk is less? That That is where you need to start engaging your primary doctor and say, okay, look, if you are a two-pack-a-day smoker, if you're hesitant about taking a cholesterol medicine, maybe that 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 little subset, not little, but that, that group of folks might benefit from an aspirin. And everything comes with side effects. That's why it is so important to talk to your doctor and wear absolutely, those every, absolutely. for every patient. Patient right, but it there. is not one size fits all like sure. we were hoping it used to be. Okay, thanks so Good much. See Good information as always. If you have a question, you can call the Baptist Health Health Line at 1-888-BAPTIST.